Uh, Could, Craig, do we do you know from your work whether what the what the minimum? Do we yet know what the minimal configuration is to make life? You mean the minimal gene set? The, the minimal gene set. Yeah, we're, we're whittling down on it, but there won't be a minimal gene set. Uh, there'll be multiple ones because I, I'm not so sanguine as some of my colleagues here that there's only one life form on this planet. Uh, we have a lot of different types of metabolism. Uh, different organisms. Uh, I wouldn't call you the same life form as the one we have that lives in pH 12 base that would dissolve your skin uh, if we dropped you in it. Oh, I've got the same genetic code. We'll have a common ancestor. You, well, you don't have the same genetic code. In fact, the mycoplasmas use a different genetic code and would bit. not work in, uh, in your cells. So there, there are a lot of variations on the but you're, not, but you're not saying it belongs to a different tree of life from me, are you? Well, I think the tree of life is an artifact of uh, some early scientific studies that aren't really holding up. So the, the tree, uh, you know, there, there may be a bush of life. Uh, right. right. <laughs> yes. Uh, bush. Tree. I don't like that word. <laughs> Rich, Richard, oh, but that's only in. Texas. Right, I can see uh, that one. Yeah. yeah. So there is not a tree of life, and right. in fact, from our deep sequencing of organisms in the ocean, out of now we have about 60 million uh, different. Uh, uh, unique gene sets, uh, we found 12 that look like a very, very deep branching, perhaps fourth domain of life uh, that obviously is extremely rare that it only shows up out of those few sequences, but it's still DNA based. Uh, but you know, the diversity we have in the DNA world, I, I'm not so sanguine and ready, ready to throw out the DNA world. I think we're going to, maybe uh, like Richard was saying, we're going to find the same uh, molecules and the same base systems wherever we look. You, in fact, had a comment you wanted to make, Richard, I think. Well, it, uh, it's rather moved on. I'm, I mean, I was just going to say I can't imagine why anyone should think it was an ethical problem. I could see why they might think it was a, a problem of expediency. You might, you might fear that it would, you know, escape and overrun the world or something. But, but ethical problem, I, I can't see. Well, but I'm now intrigued by Craig saying that he... <laughs> Little, I, I, I'm in, intrigued at Craig saying that, he, that the tree of life is a fiction. I, I mean, the, the DNA code of all creatures that have ever been looked at is all but identical. And um, surely that means that they're all related, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>